one of my bishops, God rest him, had this wonderful phrase. The main thing is to know the main thing and to keep the main thing the main thing. That's what we're doing. That's what Lent is all about. And we need it every year. Heck, we need it a couple of times a year to refocus us again. The main thing is to know the main thing and to keep the main thing the main thing. And that's Jesus Christ. He's the main thing. And how do we keep him the main thing? How do we come to know the main thing? How do we live for the main thing? Jesus tells us himself. Prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. This isn't our idea. This is his to keep us close to him. So prayer, a little more time each day. Just add a minute to what you're doing right now. If you're not doing any, then a minute. And then you add a minute and keep giving Jesus more time during Lent. And if you're able to go to a daily mass, maybe every day, a couple extra times during the week, it's the best thing we can do for Lent because it's Jesus. And the readings for Lent are very powerful. So if you can, if you can't, try to stop by the church or stop by one of the churches in town. Make a visit, 10 minutes, to tell Jesus, beg him, I want more of you. Fast. It's good to be hungry. The problem is, for many of us, I dare say, we haven't really been hungry, just different levels of full. Let yourself, let ourselves become hungry. Hungry for Jesus and for the things of Jesus, for his people to see one another by our fasting. And then almsgiving, huh? To give. To give myself. The easiest to give is money. He wants us to give our whole lives for others. The main thing is to know the main thing and to keep the main thing the main thing.